Hey, it's Eli aka Atlas, and today's video is going to be a little different than usual, and some of you are going to be pretty excited about this. Today I'm going to be drawing a comic page. I would say from start to finish, but unfortunately some of the files near the end got messed up. But all the most important stuff is here to watch. So while we go over the page, I'll try and answer some of questions I usually get from you guys also. First things first, this is a page I did for last year's anthology contest on Mark Miller's Miller World form. He was looking for a brand new undiscovered artist to make up some sample pages and so on. The winner would get the chance to work with Mark on a full one shot comic which he would write and they would do the art for. I think the rules are at three or more sample pages of either an original script or a story of your choosing, or you could remake some existing pages from something else. In my case, I chose to remake some pages from Mark and John Romita Jr.'s Hit Girl miniseries from some years ago in my own style. Typically I start my pages with some little scribbles, sketches, or layouts of what I want the piece to look like. And these don't have to take very long if I'm very confident or have a solid image in my head of what I want the page to look like. They'll only take 5 or so minutes as I usually read the script of what I'm working on several times over while I'm making the layout. Also, a lot of the time, I'll make several versions of the same layout just to make sure I get the camera angles I really like and if I'm working with the writer I'll run the pages by him to get the result we both like out of it. However, since I was doing a remake of some pages which already existed, already laid out by JRJR, I just had to tweak some of the panels here and there, play with the lighting and such. Quick work. Occasionally, I will rework a scene on a page even if it's just the direction of a face. Last minute changes are sometimes the most effective ones. Now some general questions, what kind of tools do you usually use? I actually have a video on the tools I use, while I will probably link in the description box. For those who want those, I'll answer it here too. For penciling this page, as for all my pages, I'm using a 0.5mm HB pencil. It's very light, um, I draw very light in general. I went on to ink the page with my Faber-Castell pit pens. These have been my favorite things to use for the past couple of years. How long does it take to usually draw a page? That usually depends on the amount of detail that goes in, but generally 3 hours the fastest, a couple more hours for the hard stuff. Also it depends on if I'm penciling only or inking as well. Coloring too.
question when did I start drawing I actually get asked this question a lot on different occasions and the answer is a very long time ago I got started drawing once I saw my brother drawing I like the stuff he did so I kind of picked it up as well Up to that point, I drew because I loved to do it and I was always good with stories and storytelling. Eventually, around 2008, a very long time from me starting, I decided my art needed to be more up to par with the stories that I always liked to read. If I was going to compete with any industry professionals, I had to look as good, if not better, than the competition. So starting in 2008, I took a year-long hiatus from the internet and I remember every day at 4 p.m. I would work on some anatomy assignment I gave myself. Maybe faces and profile, torsos, back muscles, things like that. And you can still find those sketches in my gallery on my DeviantArt page. Some of them. There's a lot more that I haven't even put up there yet. And what I mean by taking a break from the internet just means I didn't worry about trying to get views at the time when I was doing that, or getting too many followers or making friends. I would basically just be there to check on people I already knew, to post my sketches and just leave it there. And I would do sketches every day. You can really only get better at doing comic pages if you study the fundamentals of sequential art every day or as much as you can. Even more important than reading about how to do it is actually making pages yourself, whether you decide to copy your favorite pages from your favorite books, and that's totally okay to do initially, or you make up your own stories to illustrate from. The best advice I can give is just learning by doing and being very consistent. If you want suggestions on what books to read, what materials to use, that's a whole extra conversation I'd gladly have if you guys want to, just ask about it in the comments, leave your thoughts on that below. Typically I usually end my uh, tutorial videos with recommended reading and things like that. So you can also refer to those videos for more info on that as well. Now this part of the page I messed up on a little bit. Typically when I do an angle shot like this, it is essential to start with your perspective grid. Like I said, I'll probably do a video tutorial on that in the future. Unfortunately, when I was doing these pages, I ended up rushing this a little bit. And while I didn't end up making the cut, these were a lot of fun to do.
Okay, so that about wraps it up. Here are the finished pages I did for the contest. You can find the finished pages of my galleries, links will be below. As always, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Leave your comments and suggestions for what else you would like to see me draw or teach. Mondays means videos, thanks for watching. Thank you.